Hi everyone, it is the 24th of August of 2023. It's been a while since I've done a Magic Arena video, but I'm going to do an Arena Cube draft. Um, this is my once in, once in a while, I don't have a particular time frame, but this is my once in a while thing. Um, and I am backing up the, I'm using my, I have a, my Blue Yeti Nano here, which I've been using. Uh, for my magazine reaction videos, but also I have the backup here because I am using game. I use OBS for those ones, but for this one, I'm using Game Bar because OBS and the other one, the frame rate drops to like 0 0.01 frames per second or something. Whereas with this, the worst thing that happens is that the audio desyncs and often just stops working all together or it goes all fuzzy so my backup audio thing is uh, all set up now I've been having some really bad luck with this recording lately I'll tell you what I just, op I just opened up the curtains because it was all like nice and cloudy and now the sun's come out I'm going to close them again yeah we got some we got some heavy rain and then we got we got some heavy rain and then um, the sun's just now out in full force. Didn't last long. Still raining a little bit. It's very much rainbow weather. Wait, what happened there? We had loads of filled seats. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I'm using the background, the backup audio. Oh, oh, do, 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 do. What do we have here? Nickel ballus. What do we want for our first pick? Something. That's a big thing, but that's. Very, oh, Pact of Negation, maybe. That could be interesting. But I don't really know. Oh, again, the Infallible. Colourless. Um, sword to the Pantheon, protected from multicolored. I could just go for our land, I guess. Uh, let's get Tusky. Maybe a bad idea. But oh, I just know if a permanent entering the battlefield causes a trigger ability. Uh, all right. Gilded Goose. That's. Sacrifice of food, add one mana of any colour. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, I don't want anything like huge to start with. So I think I'll get the Gilded Goose. It allows me to... It does allow me to go for a, a, a little bit more of diff, like different colours. Uh, Brazen Borrower. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Wrath of God. I could maybe go that route. Oh, Worm Coil Engine. That does leave me open as well. Some more potential colours. I realise I am looking at this particular view that I don't usually do. Begin of your upkeep, discard a card. Wrath of God. So when it dies, it creates... Oh my goodness. Right. 3 minutes and 55, 56, 57, 58. This is what I get for having to back up using backup audio. On my phone, it just stops every now and then. It'll just stop recording. It'll just feel like stopping. I can't just have like a system that just works, which is awkward. So every so often, I've got to restart it and go. Oh, the time is such and such. Right, primal command. Choose two. Tag a player against several life. Put tag on permanent. Not on creature permanent. On top of the library. Tag, da, da, da. Uh, I'm inclined towards that one, but what else have I got? As long as there are three or more land cards in your graveyard, sacrifice a land, search a library for a land card, put into the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Um, I think I'll go for the primal command. Okay, then. I don't want to dedicate myself too much. Although, landfall... 
I am very, very green here, aren't I? I don't have much in the way of... I, I can't really... I don't really have... things. I don't know the cards, so... This is what's difficult for me. Or if you sacrifice a clue, yeah. Okay, then. So, I could do... Explore? I think, maybe? Um... Okay, let's go for explore. Yeah, I'm very heavily green here. I might end just going mono green. <laughs> See how this goes. Um, what else have we got? I am focusing primarily on green and all I've got. This spell costs two less to cast if there are no lands it cards in your hand. And so battlefield search library for a bit of land card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Uh, okay, I could do with some landfall triggers. I mean, maybe I'm going too heavy on this. But like I say, I don't know. I don't know the cards too well. <laughs> but I've got a few things that make artifacts. So I could do like an artifact sort of thing. Uh, trample haste. Transform it. Oh, look, you could have... I mean, okay. It's four mana for that. That is fine. So... Okay. Hmm... Do I? Which colour do I feel like I'm most likely to splash? Oh, well, your landfall. I'll take that. I could, I could splash the blue. I guess. What are you? Return up to three art. Return up to three art target artifact and or creature that are on his hand. You may cast spell with mana value four or less without paying its mana cost. Uh, okay. Uh, you, whenever you cast a creature spell, plus one plus one, plus one, and when it does, create X. Alright. Got brazen return target. Uh, return target non land permanent to its own owner's hand. I'll take the that one. Uh, okay. Can't really spend too much time looking at these. For action, uh, enter the battle as a copy of target artifact or creature on the battlefield, except it is an artifact in addition to other types. Okay, well, I don't even need necessarily need the blue because that's Phyrexian. And I'm not going for black. I'll put you in the sideboard. And then I could take you. Alright. Okay. Uh, reach whenever another non-human creature into the battlefield under your control. You may pick X when you put X one 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 counters on Wild Born Preserver. Uh, to count counter target spell. Uh, cycling. Oh, I could get that one. Oh, no. oh, is it too heavy on the blue? Is it too heavy on the blue? I mean, I could always cycle it, can't I? Oh, I'll just get that one. I'll just get that one. I have. I mean, I could very easily look at look into the the black and the the black and the other, whichever the other one, the red and all that. If this is the first game you, you may have cast, you have revealed a creature or land card among them, put them with your hand. Uh, okay, uh, you, you're a big thing. Um, I've got a few small things. Oh, cyclonic rift. That's an idea. I need. I could do with more. Mm, no, I'll take you. I'll take the big one. I could do with some mana ramp. I've got explore. But yeah, the thing. Like I say, I don't really know. I've got you. You, the gilded goose. You can mana ramp a bit. But I don't really.
I might just take the metamorph out. Um. Oracle of the Alpha, maybe. That creature uh, fights up to one. Oh, stupid thing. Right, 10 minutes, 17, 18, 19, 20. What's this? Uh, I'll take that one. Okay. Mm. I could get this one. It adds two mana. I mean, I'm not desperate for colours, am I? I could. Alright. Okay. The thing is, I could do with maybe some in artifact interaction, but I'm in green, so there's not going to be much. Like, if I could get in soul artifact, I don't even know if that's here. You may reveal the first card. You draw it whenever you reveal it. And it's not sorcery. Copy it. Uh, I've got two less to cast. Um... And what are you? Discard a creature card, reveal. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Reveal your. So the library for a creature card. Okay. I'm very much on the low end with stuff here. Hang a back walker. Uh, yes, I think so. Um. Okay. Okay. Garrick. Deal three damage on your target creature. Create. Uh, has two or fewer long counters on him. Transform. What are you? All right, I could get cityscape leveler. I've got a bit of ramp going on. I say a bit. <laughs> I could probably do with more. I mean, I don't know. I always feel like this when I'm, whenever I'm doing um, whenever I'm doing um, chromatic cube. I always feel completely lost. Um, take Guardian Idol. I might just take out the blue. <laughs> See if I can get some ramp. If I can get some ramp and I can get some big creatures out, that might be the way that I'd go about this. A creature on. I think I've already got one of those, but okay. I don't have. I don't really have anything in terms of mana fixing. So, that's going to be an issue. I might just. And what are you? You would draw a card equal to its power if you do discard two cards. And a tracker, but that's that's really powerful. But I'm not going to be able to cast it. I don't really don't think I'll be able to. Okay, uh, create one one human. Uh, can't attack unless you control a one one. Okay. Um. Into the backfield, you tag. Mm. Man, I feel like I'm going for not great cards here. Oh, Land of our elves. Fine. <laughs> Can maybe take out some of these two drops and then, and just focus on like the, the um, mana ramping up to just big stuff.
power stone. I mean, I've got a couple of artifacts. Well, three. Three artifacts. Yeah, I do not see this lasting too, too long. As in, I do not see me surviving many games here. But we'll have to see. Draw a card, you put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. I think that's going to be decent for this deck. And it's a battlefield pit. Um, and then Varen collects. I could take Growth Spiral. I could get you big, big one. Nah, I'll take Growth Spiral. Right, and you're a big, a big thing. What are you? Primeval Titan. Titan. Okay, and Hydra. Oh, I could just get the Hydra. I think I'll get the Hydra. Okay. It is a potential big one. Uh, Bushwhack. I think I've got big creatures and I'm going to be needing certain lands, so I think Bushwhack is an idea. Yeah, okay, I'll get Bushwhack. It's so... It's like this... What makes it so hard is that there's so many cards from so many different sets and I'm on a timer, so I have to go off vague ideas rather than any particular like knowledge of the cards. I mean, sometimes I'll come across something like cityscape level here, where it's like, I don't know exactly what just off the top of my head, but I know, I kind of know. But I've got, I've got a landfall. I could do with more landfall, I think. It'd be nice if I got to cultivate. I see there's another crate of behemoth, maybe, maybe. Return target on an opponent to its owner's hand. If it was kick, a kick, draw a card. Oh, I mean, I don't really have much. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, I don't have much to counter their stuff with. I don't mean, like, counter spells, just... Like... Um... Stuff that will just kill. You know? Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Uh, Delirium... Miss mine, Tom. Oh, I'll take that big thing. Search for a scanther. All these red lands have been picked. And I'll put that in the sideboard for now. Uh, okay. Okay. Take Vorinclex. You're getting all these big green things here. I'll get Primeval Titan. So, it is most. This this deck is most. I mean, I haven't got any dual lands at all. I could maybe just take the blue out and just go for a mono green deck and see how that goes. Yeah, that might be an idea because um, it's just the humans, right? Okay, I think I think I may just have to go mono mono green. <laughs> I might just try going mono green. I need to take out 15 cards. Well, hold on. Let's take out all the... All the blue. Right, now let's take out... Oh, there's a white one there. 
Sanctum, let's take you out. I mean, that could be, I could use that still. Palladium there. Oh, you are blue as well. I mean, that's not, I mean, two colours is going to be okay because I'm going to have plenty of greens available, aren't I? So that might be okay. Ah, no, I'll take it out. I'll just, I'll take it out. I'll just take out, okay, right, well, let's, um, Okay, let's have a quick... This is what I've currently got. But before I do anything... Let's... Get rid... Of all this nonsense. Okay, oh, hold on, there's another one there. Primal Command... Oh, I can't. Oh, okay, there isn't. There isn't an alternate version. That is the only version. That's annoying. Uh, okay, well, let's just take a look and see how this goes. So, uh, Bushwhack probably isn't going to be as useful. I mean, it's going to fight. Uh, I'm not going to need it for mana fixing. I'm not going to need you for mana fixing either. So if I'm not going to go for mana fixing, I mean, it's still kind of ramping away, isn't it? Hold on. Whenever another non-human creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may put X when you do. Put X one one counters. Okay. So if this is the first part, you have this. In this game, you may cast it without pitch, spend a couple of without five cards library, you reveal a creature and our land. Um, explore, I'm a gorger. Explore. Hold on, when it enters the battlefield, if there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard. Right, well that's no good. So... Should I? Am I making a grave mistake here? I feel like... I think like worm coil engine is just uh I feel like I'm going to lose every game here. Let's just go with this mono green creature deck, which I don't know. I did, I did all right. The first, I've done a few chromatic cube drafts. I did one of them, which was a uh, midweek magic kind of deal, which had, I had loads of stuff that we could copy other stuff, and that was fun. And I did good with that deck. The first one I did was uh, Naya deck, and that one did quite good. But the last one I did was rubbish, and this one I think is probably might, might be even worse. But we'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, at least I won't have any colour problems.
right. Well, that's dead. Should have flashed that in. Oh, okay. If there's no lands in my hand, so what are you going to do? All right. Wait, did they do something there? I don't know. Um, there are no land cards in your hand. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land and put that card onto the battlefield tap and shuffle. Yeah. All right. Pit X to give it plus one, plus one. Oh, yeah, for turn. One, yeah. Okay. So next turn, I can either br I can bring this out, trample and haste. That's nice. I could maybe what's Okay, when under investigate is let's do that thing again. All right, all right. So the target creature, I can get a a fight to go on there. Potentially, if they bring a creature up, that is. They seem to be mono red. All right, I can bring you out. Um, is investigate. I can just bring you out. No, I'll bring you out. And I'll attack with both of them. I'm doing okay. Interesting. I thought I was going a bit. I thought I was going quite over the top here with the monocolor deck, but it looks like they're doing the same thing. Right, so it gets plus X plus X until end of turn and fights up to one target creature you don't control. So, um, so if I make it equal to one. No, 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 no. Make it equal to two. It means I'll lose out a little bit. Oh, yep, yeah, and that's the thing I didn't even account for. Fine. Um... Attack with both of them. Oh, and it's got trample as well. That works in my favour. Right. So the phoenix keeps coming back, does it? Yeah. I mean, it is a phoenix, I know, but... I wasn't sure of the exact mechanics of it all. So you trample, I could have it fight something. I'm at the point now where I could be a bit aggressive, so it gets X, one, one counters, so I can make that four, and I can make it fight something, so I'd make it fight that thing. Or when that dies, X top to your library. Well, I, may, I might have won this game. Okay, oh, I can bring you up now. Enter the battlefield or attack you and search your life up to two land cards, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Okay. So I can pay seven. Well, I'll do that. 
get those lands out. And I don't want to attack. I want to stay back a bit. You're a 6-6 six, six trampler, and I can turn you. Oh, oh, what do you do? Conjure four cards named Lightning Bolt. Ah, oh, so that costs me seven. Is that right? Or eight? Or I could bring you out. Um, and it becomes other creatures you can draw plus one, plus one, and trample and haste. Uh, do I go for it? Yep. Yeah. Let's go all out. Mm hmm. I'm getting loads of lands here. Alright, so they'll both die. This is alright. I'm doing alright. Yeah, they can't stop it. Uh, so they got something in their hand for two reds they can use. I don't think that's going to cut it. I mean, they might be able to... Yeah, it wasn't quite enough. All right then, I won a game. That was I was expecting this to be disastrous, but first game win is fine by me. It's all good in the hood. Now, let's hope game two. So this is an arena cube draft. I don't think this is uh, the chromatic chromatic lantern draft. Uh, let's have a look here. Because this is a chromatic lantern draft. I think this 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 might not be it. This might be just arena cube draft. So this might be something completely different. Uh, it's just arena cube draft. Okay, come on. Right, oh, is that all the lands? I thought there was some, oh there's some, yeah there is some lands, there's no lantern no. So I think this is different, okay, I think this is different. But anyway, get five gold, or 500 gold and three cards. I mean you get three cards regardless. But you know, I... I play this knowing that I'm going to come out at a, at a loss, or with confidence that I'm going to come out as a loss, but this is my purely for fun, over the top, wacky, wacky game that I do every once in a while. Not my draft, my, you know, actual draft of whatever the latest set is that's come out. Anyway, we're against a noble goat here. Just how noble are they? Okay, well, this seems good. I can get Lana Warrells out, then Tyler's Tracker. Mm, I mean, I can get the effect. Seems like a good hand. Of course, they might have like a thought season and mess it up. Put the iron in black. Black and white. Oh, oh, nothing cast on that turn. Is there anything they can do here? Black and white on this. I mean, another downside to me not knowing, not knowing the cards is that I don't know what cards my opponent might have. Um. Oh well. Oh, there's something. Exile target tapped creature. 
Well, that doesn't seem that great. I mean, I guess two mana. At the beginning, if you have no snakes, well. So investigate is that. And whenever you investigate, yeah, that's a fight. Um. Tell you what, I'll do that now. Might get a one drop. No. Uh, your sorcery. Yeah, okay, let's have x equals zero. That works out all right. Now that is awkward that they've got the 1-1 one, one death toucher there. Because I don't have anything that can deal with it really. Oh. Look at animation going on. Uh, just, you play this card as a card, you play loser, loses one life and draws a card, you play sacrifices a creature. They probably want that one, I imagine. Each player sacrifices a creature. Yep, that's what I thought. So they're going to get rid of their Death Touch here. Mm -hmm. Okay then. So if they make me sacrifice my creature, they're going to have to sacrifice theirs. So Fauna Shaman, I mean, that ability is alright, but I don't know what other creature I'd want. Tap tag opponent you don't control. Well, that's... Uh... Ah, okay, so they can keep bringing them. Alright. So they've got... They've got more creatures they can discard, I guess. Not discard. Um, sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Oh, each, each player discards a card and sacrifices a creature. Well, I'll get rid of the, the forest. Okay, I didn't know they could do more than one. Okay then. Look at Fock as your library, you may reveal a, a story target artifact enchantment or creature with flying. Um Creature all under put into your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So they could do I mean they can kill that next turn anyway. Can't they? Let's just get rid of that. Yeah, and then they'll attack me with that next turn. Or, well, they'll attack Vivian with that. At least I can bring this out safely now. I mean, I need another land, but... I can do it safely at least. Is it haste? No, it's trample. I need one land. And then I can start. I'll start getting like loads of lands out. Oh. And it's tapped. I was just thinking it would be quite kind of annoying if I got explore, but there I was with explore. I mean I could use no, I can't use that, can I? So into my field you may pay three life if you don't enter tap, so they've got something that they want to do. Yeah, this is annoying. I wouldn't want to do this at this time, ideally. Well, at least that gets me a land. Don't get to 
plenty of land, ready to get one out. And if they attack, I can block. But what have they got for five mana? They could have a wrath effect. Oh, there you go. What does that do? When enter the battlefield feature you control get instructable until, until end of turn. Oh, uh, And you're a big thing as well. I mean, that's going to block off the primeval titan. I think I've lost this one. I need to draw something good. Nah. But they might have something to kill that. They might have something to kill it. Just need it to lay around for a bit. I mean, if I can get the forest out of my deck, that could help. But they can attack in the air, there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, and if I attack, they can double block. Unless I draw, like, uh, that thing that where I can fight something. And that would be the one to fight. Great motion to Vasfidel. Oh, I am aware of that. Oh. Okay, so I can make x equals six with x one one counters on it. But is the battlefield choose one double it or it fights attack a creature? So I can give it six. Yeah, I can give it six and have it fight the angel. I think that's my only hope. Because that thing could just hit me. Oh, but then they can... Oh, wait, no, that's not how that works. I mean, they only need to take off one point of, of damage. They need to get in one point. So if they've got anything in their hand, which is like... Target opponent loses one life, or any effect of that, of anything that has that effect on, they have won. Because I don't think I can gain life at all. I mean, they may just need to hold back a bit, otherwise... Because if they attack, if they've got nothing in their hand that's useful... Oh, well, they did have something in their hand that was useful. Ah, see? No, they can attack with everything. Yeah. So they can do all the damage they need. Yeah. See, they didn't even need something to do one one damage. I say, like, lose one life because they're in black, but they didn't, anything, didn't even need anything to do any point of damage because like, they just needed to get rid of one of my creatures. They just needed some removal, and that was it. Like, any removal that could have worked would have been enough. But this deck is turning up to be not as bad as I... Uh, was thinking it was going to be. Oh, I thought it was going to be awful. Because sometimes I sometimes I get to that stage where Hmm Okay. I might use that first actually before I bring up the Lanawar Elves. Oh, never mind, I can just use it for free now. Uh, reveal a creature or land and put it into my hand. Is that right? Hold on. Well, I've got three. Um. Let's get you. Okay. So... I'm not really going to be able to make much use of that next turn, I don't think. 
Oh, it's a draw three drop. Yeah, so what I was saying... Again, I didn't. I forgot the um, the, the the flash. Never mind. Just game for one. I don't want to. Oh. Right. Uh. Create. No, hold on. I can do you, and I'll pay one for you. So is that you can pay X. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could have brought that out, but I want to... Uh... I would like to get that powered up. So what I was trying to say before was, sometimes, when I feel like a deck is going one way, or like, say, if I'm leaning towards one colour, I try and push it, like, oh, can I just do this as one colour? Anyway, I hate this thing. I don't remember what it does, but I remember that I hate it. Um, so, trample and haste. Can make x equal one. Hold on. When it enters the battlefield, crit two. Hold on. Uh, whenever it attacks, create a, a token that's a copy of, of a token that's a copy of a token you control. All right. Well, I think. Yeah. Let's pay the one. <laughs> and get in for some damage. Yeah, that keeps powering stuff up, doesn't it? So next turn I can get this out. Oh, haste and cascade. If you were the starting player, you gain three life. Were they the starting player? So they're deciding between those two. If I was them, I'd go for the, the elf. Oh, okay. I guess not then. Man, I really hate that ability. Okay. Um, well, the double trigger doesn't really mean anything. Let's just pay it two. Yeah. And then decline that one. And I can crew that. It's not got haste. Right. Let's just do a big attack. I'll have to put something in the way. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay then. Um, hmm, the big one or the one that can, tell you what, I can get rid of the big one. All right, so if they attack, hold on, so that's on another creature, yeah, it's on another creature, they can't do it on themselves. Oh. So attack with that. So that's just a five, four. So when it attack, okay. I'll just let that through. Okay. Uh, five damage to everything. So, all right. Create a food. Sacrifice you can do life. I can't do anything else. I'm just top decking now. I'm just top decking. I could still go one three. I mean that's a that's a nasty thing.
Okay. Well, I can got a. I can get a supply of food, I guess. Yeah, do it. Let's create a food token. And sacrifice the food. Right, okay then. So I can make you a... How much? A four... Oh, not quite enough. So... Sacrifice the food. I don't remember. I've only got one, two, three, five, six. Uh, one, two, five, six. Oh, so hold on. Uh, so one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Potentially, I can make it a six, six. Um. Do I bring it up now? Oh. No, I'll leave it for now. Oh, they're gonna keep bring. Raising that thing's power. Maybe that was wasn't a good idea. I think I might have made a mistake there. I think I think I've lost. Yeah, that thing's just gonna keep getting more and more powerful. Right. Okay. So block. Oh, it's got trampled. Oh. Just doing what I can. Just doing what I can. Holding on to what I am. Jesus. Right. I mean, you're still flying. I mean, you can... Crew. So I can make this a five... Right, well, I think I haven't got any choice. Hold on a second, view battlefield. So I can make it a 10. They can attack me. They can attack me and I can make it a 10. They can block out a bit of that. Hmm. I'll have it fight you. And the order's messed up with again. So, 50, 54 minutes and 51 seconds. 52, 53, 54. It'd be nice if the audio worked. I mean, the audio on this hasn't worked for a long time. It's been a, it's been a good while now. I mean, is there anything I can draw that would, that would save me? I feel like there isn't. I don't think I can draw anything that will save me this turn. No. Right.
Yeah. <laughs> Just put every do everything at once. Not gonna work. Yeah. Save one. And I'm down. I'm uh, one, two. Yeah, so the audio on this has been messing up for on, on Game Bar for MTG Arena the past like four or five times. So I don't know what's going on there. Usually it's once every so often, but it's been consistently not working for the last bunch that I did. And I'm not happy with that. Anyway, come on, let's win one more game. This is an alright opening hand. I can use your adventure first time, then I can explore. And then I can explore on the next turn. Um, hold on. Boom. I could use that. Um, but I won't. It's going to put it into my hand. It's not going to help that much. Oh. Okay. I will use this and draw a card. Uh, do I want to attack? No, I won't attack. But hey, next turn, I can either bring this out or I can Primal Might something. Vicious Hydra seems a bit seems a bit early for that. Okay. So I could bushwhack. Make them fight, and I could do this. Right, okay. Uh, fight target creature you don't control, go on then. So you, fight you, because you're indestructible. And... I could do that with x equals 2. Am I being too premature here? I mean, it means I'll get to draw a card. I can do a bit more damage and draw a card. All right then, I think that was all right. Oh, and then you can go out. So if they bring out a creature, I can use I can bring this out and make it fight something. Um. So this can't attack. I mean, it can block. But it can... And the audio backup is going again. So we're at one hour and five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. Man, if the audio works, that would be fantastic. And knowing that that can't. Um... Oh, wait, no, it can attack because I've got a 1 1 creature. All right, then. It's if you control a 1 1 creature. I thought it was if you control a. Um... Oh, oh, hold on. I can make this not quite enough. So I'll bring you out. Um, okay. 
Yeah, they're going to stop me from drawing a card. Oh, no, they don't want to stop me from drawing a card. Aha! Right. Well, I'll investigate. And then I can get both of these out potentially. Or. Uh, should I? Yeah, go on then. Okay. Okay. This is looking alright. I mean, unless they have a board drive, they might have burned down the house. Which will kill most of these things. That did a lot of damage. Still though. Not quite enough. Uh, and I'll do this for five. Yes, I've got enough now, so I'll make that equal to five. Uh, oh, hold on. Cancel. I can do that for equal to six. Yes. Voracious Hydra. Now, can they counter it? Ah, they can counter it. Um, you're not going to do much for me. So I'm okay with that dying. I get to draw a card at least. Okay. And now they've got to pay the pact. Okay then. I'll investigate. And what do you hold on? I don't know. Whenever it becomes tapped, exile target card from a graveyard. I could have I could have done that, couldn't I? Before. Um I can do two more of these and then that will become Powerful. Powerful enough that I can get through. Um, okay. That's a lot of damage there. Six sort of might want to block that off. Oh, they're not. Oh, they want it to survive. That's why. Okay. Well, Golden Goose, Gilded Goose rather. Um, and yeah, let's once upon a time. Let's get Crater Hoth Behemoth, I think. Yes, let's get Crater Hoth Behemoth into my hand. Build top. Uh, you may reveal the first card you draw each turn whenever you reveal an instant sorcery. Alright, okay. Okay, so they're going to use that twice, is that right? Don't know what's going on with that swamp there. Okay. Well, how nice. I am at 2-2. Two, two. So, okay. So, this deck isn't as awful as I thought it might have been. That does happen sometimes where I start thinking, oh, this deck is awful, and then it does all right. I mean, this deck hasn't done that great, but I was expecting a 1-3 a or a 0-3, a and I'm currently at 2-2. Two, two, so, it's not. it's better than what I was expecting. I am, I have high hopes, but low expectation that the audio is going to work properly on this. But hey, hey, I've got once upon a time. I can explore next uh, next turn. Uh, hold on. First of all, let's get you out. 
Right, now which one of these do I want? Do I want another land? Uh, no, I'll get you. I can make you cheap. Potentially. Planes? Esper Sentinel. Ah. Well, that's awkward. They get to draw a bunch of cards. Um. No. I, I shan't do that. I'll probably use it to, um. I could bring those two. Oh, well, Thoughtseize. I've still got some backup plans, at least, with whatever they decide to get rid of. I still have some choices. I've got quite a few choices, actually. So that one there, okay. Right, I could bring you out and then bushwhack if I wanted to, or I could bring Tusky out. I'll bring Tusky out. I could maybe start drawing some cards. But, um, I think the first order of business is I will bushwhack to get rid of that so I can get through and draw a card. Potentially. Depends on what they do this turn. But they're in black and white. The oars of. Oh, well, they can't get rid of it, can they? Um. Tag creature you control, fight tag creature you don't control, yes. Um. Do you to you. I shall I shall pay one something from drawing a card and get rid of it. And this thing has to attack. That's annoying in this instance because they're gonna be gaining life all the time. I'm gonna be they're gonna be forced to Siphon all the life away. Well, not siphon out away because I'm not losing it in the process. But yeah, they're not going to attack. Because they know I have to fight into them. Man, if I get a. Oh, well, that's a. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I need a couple more. Uh, do I attack with that one just for the sake of. Drawing a card? No. Because I do I would like target to my crater of behemoth. And I could cycle it for something different. I could cycle it for the Hydra. Just kind of creature card search library for a creature card to develop into your hand and shuffle. It's an idea. Maybe I should have done that. Enters the battlefield attack which an opponent controls gets 13 13 until end of turn. So will that kill that one? It does. I wasn't sure if it would. So I'm thinking I might get rid of the Crit Hope Behemoth and get the Hydra. And what does that become? Mm. Okay. Annoying.
but that's not going to do any help. That's not going to help much while I've got no creatures out. I should have done it already. Uh, choose an unknown card name. Oh. So, what? Oh, did I accidentally fawn a shaman? All right then. Well, you're a two one. Well, that's awkward. Oh, yeah, you can use that. There's nothing there you can take. Yeah, I need... I'd need more creatures for that to really be useful. We're good if I could have cycled it out. I should have cycled it out for the Hydra. This creature has come down should... Uh, a battle of ten turn creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. I think I have lost this. I think I have lost this. My only hope really is to hold out. Yeah, let's just gain some life in the process. Right. Not good enough. Not good enough. They're going to get this out. They're going to flip this battle. Aren't they? Oh. Um... Could have double blocked if I really wanted to. Still, no. Even if I get this out, it's going to give them plus two, plus two. I mean, I'll have to block with this. So that's going to flip. That's dead. Okay. And that flips. Yep. They get zom zombies. And I can't do anything. If I get a land, I can bring this out, but it's just going to be a 5-5, five, five, well, a 6-6 six, six haste. Jeez. Yep. I'm not going to bother wasting my time. I know I'm on 20 life, but they are so far ahead in terms of everything else. Well, that wasn't great, but it was not too bad. So what do I get? A uh, thousand gold and three cards. So I paid three thousand gold effect effectively for that. Let's see what cards I get. And uh, one rare, three un two uncommons. And they're all non-standard. Oh well. Well, there you go. Uh, hopefully the audio is working fine. It'll be, I feel like it'll kind of be a miracle if it has. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.